flip man, flip man. It's the flip man, flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash? Get that bag. Good afternoon. Welcome to July 11th. July 11th. And guess what? I am here all alone. So it may not go as smooth as it normally goes. Matter of fact, I know it won't. But I'm here to uh, try to uh, supply as much knowledge as possible to you guys, answer your questions best way I know how. And uh, we'll we'll make it through. It got a little health situation going on in the office, and you probably know what it is. Um, but we still standing. So um, so we're here to talk about this thing called real estate investing, with a strong emphasis on wholesaling real estate, where your cash or credit does not matter. Uh, being broke doesn't matter. Low risk, high reward op- opportunity. So. Um, going to be a little more different today. I don't know if we'll do the gator thing. Um, I'll make a decision on it, but I'll put it out there just just in case someone wants to do it. But first, before we let me see if I can find it for it. We'll go through all of this. Yeah, where is it? Um, but um, text the word gator to the number. And uh, we get you uh, on to ask your questions live. Here it is. Text the word Gator to the number, and uh, we'll get your questions answered. So um, just to give you an idea on our start times, we normally start around 3.45 p.m. I think it's a little early. We're a little early. That's cool. Got it earlier than late. Um, on Monday through Thursday, Monday through Wednesdays, and on Thursdays around seven, uh, eight oh five. Uh, what did I say? Seven oh five? No, actually, it's eight oh five Eastern. I said seven oh five because we need to correct that. Just noticing that. So uh, check your local listing. So really, eight oh five Eastern instead of seven oh five. Mm, didn't see that. Of course, that's just like me. Not great attention to detail. Now this is also the place where number one, uh, you can get the step-by-step instructions through a playlist I created from a suggestion from one of our uh, viewers. Uh, Text VIP to the number in uh, these set of videos to get you going in the right direction. Um, Also, um, this is the place where if you got a hundred bucks, you're in the game and you can partner with us assuming you follow the instructions in this particular video here. So text MLS to the number, MLS to this number, right? Okay, the other thing is is that you're starting a business. So you need to look and act like a business for the benefits that that um, will uh, help you down the road. So um, there are a lot of business entities that you can set up such as an LLC. So if you want to get your LLC set up, text the word biz, B-I-Z, to the 205-964-5243. Not only will you get, um, actually, uh, there won't be any cost as far as the, the service or the, the legwork or the manpower. You just have to cost what, you have to just pay what the state charges to set it up, all right? Along with that, you're going to get uh, access to over 250 uh, the deductions that you can start to take immediately with your business, even if you haven't made, well, it will, it will definitely be even when you haven't made a dime. And if you didn't make a dime this year in 2022, having this LLC and be able to write off stuff that you have used to try to pursue your business will benefit you on your actual taxes. So uh, you'll do that just alone. Also, business credit is available through that option also. All right. Um before we get questions loaded in here, um, I think we got a few. Um, we are on TikTok. We're not on Instagram today. Um, so uh, just bear with us. Uh, a couple other things while we're waiting on people to ask questions. Um, the um, 
dialer. Um, if you're trying to do cold calling, um, the, the, um, you want to put it on steroids, be more efficient instead of just using your smartphone, which is okay if that's the only thing you have. But um, if you can put this in your budget, text the word dollar so you can uh, do cold calling the right way. All right. Now, we still are partnering, par partnering with individuals. Uh, now, you can partner with us on this through this, through real estate agents, text MLS. But the old fashioned dealing with the seller, we still are doing that also. Just text 5050 to the number and we can partner on deals as far as houses. Now, the other option is apartments and self-storage, still doing that. So text uh, units to the number to get instructions on that. It'll be for self-storage, but you can use the same process with uh, apartments. And, um, and, and we can uh, team up on that. So again, I'm here by myself today. So uh, I got to try to manage the tech side and and uh, actually reading the questions and and, um, and um, answering them for you. Now, we have a topic today. Uh, what is the topic? Best phone number to use, uh, the best phone number for your real estate, <coughs> for your real estate business. All right? And so I've had this thumbnail. I don't know if it makes sense, but upgrade like this, like you need a new phone or whatever, but whatever. Uh, so, uh, you on TikTok didn't see that. If you just go back about, well, just go to the YouTube video and you can see the uh, thumbnail we put up there. So, uh, TikTok, I won't be able to, to get your credit card. The phone is all the way over there. So I won't be able to do it, but, uh, feel free, uh, to still join us. You're going to get probably your, uh, a lot of questions, uh, answers to the questions that you probably already do have. So, um, so let's get over here. Let's see what we got in here. Um, uh, okay, we got uh, Tamara. She followed instructions. I sent her the instructions on how to do that. Is uh, um, Good afternoon. Um, my husband and I, I guess I can put it up here on the screen. Uh, my husband and I uh, have purchased your wholesale secret system. I needed to know, do we absolutely need uh, a real estate agent to complete or close deals. No, you do not. Many, many wholesalers never deal with real estate agents. It's more of a, um, a new thing for me recently. I'm open, more open to it than I've ever been, mainly because of this tool right here. If you text MLS, you'll see what I'm talking about. So anytime that you're not pursuing a particular method of generating leads um, you're always leaving money on the table, but you don't have to do everything to be highly successful in this business. Some people only do direct mail and are highly successful in this business. Some people only do cold calling or in highly success and high, are, are highly successful in this business. Text messaging. I can go on down the line. Uh, some people only do bandit signs. Some people only wholesale other wholesalers properties, just have a strong buyer's list. And network with other wholesalers, put those two together and make an unbelievable living uh, doing it that way. So you're not restricted on the different methods you can use to generate leads. So to answer your question, Ms. Tamara, uh, no, you do not need a license to, um, to, to wholesale real estate. Now, if you're in the state of Illinois or Kansas, uh, I think Oklahoma and then the city of Philadelphia requires you to have a wholesaler's license, which is more like a business license. But in those other three states, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Illinois, they require you to have a, a license. But there's a way around that. But just to answer the question, um, that's what they have in play right now. But, you know, that's a small portion. That's not even a tenth of the uh, country. So um, so let's see what we got here. Um I'm not reading these. I need to read these before I put them up because they're never been never. Just a family show. So, um, <laughs> uh, hey, uh, from uh, uh, Krishna, I think I'm saying that right. Um, hey, Flip Man, when cold calling commercial real estate owners, do you leave a vo leave voicemails? If so, what do you say to get to get a call back? Um, well, uh, if, if you're going to leave a voicemail, which I do recommend, uh, it's a hit or miss. Some people say don't do it. Some say do. 
But uh, I think as many methods of um, letting them know you exist is always going to play. The numbers are going to play out well, right? All right. But uh, whenever you call them, just hey, just introduce yourself and uh, you uh, identify. I'm assuming you're calling about a particular property. Identify the property. Say, hey, um, I'm calling about your property at such and such um, at one two three Main Street. Um, my group or me. You can just say you if you want. We will be. Uh, we we will be highly interested in purchasing your property if you're interested in selling. Um, if you are, please give us a call back so we can discuss further. Um, have a great day and, and you hang up or whatever. So just something simple, not, nothing detailed or whatever. And um, the numbers will play out. Some people call you back, some won't or whatever. That, that's regardless of what you do. All right. Okay. So um, thank uh, for participating this afternoon. Um, let me see what we got here. Uh, all right. Um, not sure about the uh, username, but they're from YouTube also. Uh, hope, hello, glad to be here. I purchased your course, but don't exactly have the thousands to invest. All right, I so badly want to learn this. Okay, you, it doesn't take thousands to invest. Number one, thanks for the purchase that you made of the course. Um, you also want to follow that up with these videos here. Text VIP to the number 205-964-5243. And those videos are going to uh, help you tremendously along your journey. Now, with only 100 bucks, this option here gets you in the game and gets you into the game virtually nationwide and we would love to work with you because you're going to be dealing with real estate agents this video explains how to do that but the uh the hold back for a lot of uh new hosts them when they, they're not comfortable with dealing with uh agents or whatever we'll help you with that um if you sign up for that now and um and that they'll want earnest money deposit and proof of funds we will assist with that also okay so um so yeah, so that gets you in the game. So you don't need, my point is, you don't need thousands to get into this game. You don't need thousands to get into this game. Okay, so uh, one thing, uh, someone sent a text when I was going, what I try to like to do before we uh, start these, and a lot of times, not a lot of times, but sometimes I don't get a chance to catch up because the other things that we actually do here have going on. And um, someone said that they were uh, going to go over to someone else's uh, program and their information because I was, I belittle, okay, they, the way they said is that um, when they ask a question because they know zero about real estate, um, my answers are belittling, basically what they were saying in a nutshell. And um, I probably, I may come off like that sometimes because it, and and that, that's never ever my intent. Uh, I'm not making excuses. Anyone that that feels that way, just know that that is never my intent. And don't ever hesitate to correct me on that if you feel that way, um, because that's never my intent. Now, what will happen sometimes because and I'm not making excuses. I'm just I'm just human and just tell you what what may happen sometimes. Um, sometimes, um, because, uh, a, the question that may be asked, um, it, I'll know immediately that you haven't, you haven't, um, taken advantage of all the free content I have, right? Not all of it, but not even a small portion of it. That, that, let me just say this, uh, that's when someone may ask about a contract. Or something like that. I have so many videos over the years about contracts that I know you really hadn't consumed or not because you're just going to automatically run into those videos. Now, that's not your fault. I have, I have to take in consideration everyone is starting at different levels and um, everybody, you know, I, I take for granted sometimes. I always have to try to reel myself back. Some people just really uh, are either uncomfortable and or don't really understand how to use the internet, I, you know? And so 
And so the information that they may want, even though I may have it available, they may not actually know how to get it. So I need to do a better job. And I, I try to work on it. When I'm, whenever I'm doing something, I try my best to think about it in the terms of could my, uh, uh, my, could my mom access this if I put it out? Now, I don't always accomplish that, but I, I try to do that as simple as possible. And some of you guys, you all get frustrated, the ones that have been following me and uh, uh, much farther along in your journey. Sometimes you all uh, get frustrated with it. So, again, the frustration is one thing, but I don't ever, ever want someone to think that I'm coming off that I'm better than you are. Now, I may be more knowledgeable about this topic, and that may come off uh, – in an arrogant way sometimes because somebody do question and you know, I have bad days just like anybody else. So uh, again, I'm not making an excuse. I'm just trying to give a context of why it may happen sometimes, but if it does, please correct me, you know, because I, I don't ever want someone to feel like I'm not being attentive to their question or whatever, you know, so that that's, that's the only thing. So again, to that person, uh, they said they didn't want to receive any more messages from, from us, so I politely unsubscribe. Uh, so they may not see this, but this is for anyone else that sees this now or in the future. That's never my intent. All right, so I uh, just wanted to get that out there. Uh, all right, so what else we got here? Okay, so uh, ooh, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah. Um, good afternoon, body flow. What's the best way to calculate renovation? All right, cool. All right, so here's a good one. Um, hello, Flip Man. What's the best way to calculate the renovation cost in California? Well, you're really going to do the same thing that you would do in other markets. Now, California is a different beast, and different parts of California. Are, are definitely a different beast, especially Southern California, uh, the Bay Area. Uh, those are uh, definitely two that where well, the prices of the real estate exceed the norm throughout most of the rest of the country, not all of it, but most of it. So as far as repairs, um, it's still going to boil down to some simple things. I like to normally go with, I have a, 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 a repair calculator uh, estimator on my site dealator.com which is free uh, and that calculator uh, is there to determine what the repairs may be because in order to know if you have a deal or not you have to have a an idea of the condition and, and take that into consideration when you're doing your numbers now the video that I have to uh, break that down in more detail please let me find it here it is is a GD. Now this video will really break it down. But uh, just to simply answer, normally I say if the house is livable, multiply the square footage times $25. If it's not livable times $40, right? In California, you might say, go up to 30. You know, if you're in Southern California, the Bay Area, if it's livable, $30 per square foot, multiply that, round it up to the nearest five or the nearest zero. Uh, if it's not livable, just say maybe 50, you know, so. Uh, you can't go wrong. Even if you use the 25 and 40, you still be in the ballpark. Because you're not going to be exact. You just need a general number to determine if it's an opportunity or not. And again, this video here will break all of that down for you. If you text the letters GD, two, it's two letters together, no space. GD to 205-964-5243. All right. I say um, the best. Uh, so uh, Dylan. Uh, says the best skip tracing website. Well, um, I'm affiliated with um, uh, Skip Vault and Batch Leads and PropStream. All right. All of them do skip tracing. Now, um, on, now, if you're going to do text messaging, you're going to all, and you're going to use, um, um, where is it? You're going to use, um, Hold on, I got to get this, this one here. 
and you're going to use text messaging, I recommend that just go ahead and use Bats because it's already a uh, part of what you're paying for and you're going to get it at a really good rate. Um, but if you're going to do uh, skip, and so if you want to do that, if you want to do the text messaging, text the word text, and that's going to get access to the text messaging platform. Also, this video is going to explain the uh, proper way of, um, of, um, of text messaging so you can stay legal. Uh, but also, again, it, it will allow you to do skip tracing also. But if you're going to just do skip tracing, uh, pay as you go, and you can do single skips, then uh, just text the word uh, skip to me, S-K-I-P, and uh, I'll send you the uh, link over there uh, for that for that particular option, along with the video on how to, uh, how to do it. So um, to answer that question on skip tracing. Okay, so again, guys, I'm here alone, as you may can tell. I uh, appreciate everyone that has joined us this afternoon. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to make this work. All right, so let's, let's go down here to the bottom. Um, uh, we're going to go to the bottom for a second. Uh, uh, well, you know what? Let, let's stay up here. So uh, can we... Front of the card, let me see if so... Okay, uh, crazy M. Um, what's what's going on, my man? He says, "Can anyone do this? Even a returning a returning citizen from incarceration like myself. If so, what are the steps? Well, you've already started, my man. Um, you've already started uh, by starting to trying to educate yourself. These set of videos. If you text VIP to the number." These set of videos are going to uh, allow you to get going, right? Um, not sure what your schedule is like, but you probably have a, what you like most of us, we're time rich. We have the time to educate ourselves on pretty much anything we want to do, you know, outside of stuff that you just got to have a license for, like for being a physician, a uh, doctor or something, but other stuff. A lot of it's online and available for all of us to uh, access and take advantage of it, especially this. I don't know about other stuff. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, but, yeah, so uh, just start there, my man. Actually, I have a video. If you do Flip Man in prison, there's going to be a video of one of my uh, students from years ago. He's become a millionaire, uh, and he was right out of, uh, right out, right out, right out of uh, incarceration. You know, it took him a second, but um, he's made it work, and he, he, he's doing some big things. So check that one out, my man. Also, I should have said this in the beginning. Make sure you subscribe, share, like, and follow. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, share on all the prop, uh, platforms. Also, share and like, please, if you think if you want to make someone's day. All right? Um All right, they said, uh, some, uh, so I ran across a person, this is a person already asked a question, but I'll go ahead and ask you another one. I ran across a property, but didn't have anyone to call because I didn't have the big money to do the deal. Well, if, if, the op if it was a true opportunity, it doesn't matter what the number is. It could be 100,000, it could be 100 million. If it's a $100 million deal and it's worth 200 million, oh, we can make it happen. So it, it's irrelevant. Now you have to know what you're doing, and knowing what's a deal and what's not a deal. So that's very important uh, to know if you have an opportunity or not. So uh, just keep that in mind. So that's part of why you, you're here now. So you can educate yourself um, and you'll know when those opportunities present themselves, how to take advantage of them. So um, that's, that's, that, that's, that's part of the education being able to recognize and uh, take advantage of the opportunities. So we have someone in the Gator room that uh, wants to drive, join the live stream, Infinite Wealth. It's me. I'm going to bring uh, her on. Um, surprise, surprise. What's going on, baby girl? <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm um, good. Where are you live streaming from? Um, New York. New York. What part? <laughs> um, uh, Queens. Queens. What's up? What's happening? So um, I found the property out in uh in brooklyn i think i messaged you on instagram okay yeah i found the property out in brooklyn now i didn't find the property through a listing 
But after I found the property, it got listed. Mm, okay. Uh, it is a brownstone property, like in Brooklyn. Hey, do, do, do this for me. Yeah. Educate, the, educate the ignorant, starting with me. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> what is a brownstone? So a I brownstone in New York City is like a property that was built in the early 1900s. So they are like uh, real valuable properties, especially in the Brooklyn area. Okay. Um, uh, oh, okay. With that being said, okay. What, what, okay. So, what, what did when you saw the? So, what made you uh, um, uh, identify this property as something that you want to pursue? So, what made me identify it as something I want to pursue is I know what brownstones value for. Like in the years, they only go up in price. Like in value, they only go up in price. So. In price, they go, they started out like a few years when I was here back a few years ago. They were starting at a million dollars. So over the course of the past three years, they went from being a million dollars to being two point two point five million dollars, three point seven million dollars. Like after it's repaired. Yes, ma'am. So and they're also in a rejuntified area of Brooklyn. Oh, okay. What are they listing the property for? What what price? She's asked. She first she went from listing it at two point seven mm. to two point to two point five to two point two to now it's two million and she's asking for one point nine. Okay, so they were they went from they almost went down a whole million dollars. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So yeah, that that's something. Um, um, yeah. Okay. I think I do remember that 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 idea. Uh, <laughs> Let's do this. Do you have um um hit me up on this number? What, what's your what's your actual name? Starlight. Starlight. Okay, Starlight. Do this. Text me the, that information so we can communicate on it because I don't want to I don't want to put it out there and somebody snatch a deal down <laughs> on this one. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh so yeah, just hit me up and uh, say this Starlight. I was, I was we were talking about the property in Brooklyn and uh, let let's see if uh, we we can maybe, who knows we can do something. All right, sounds good. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for joining. How old are the uh the, the little ones back there? Let me, let me see my man in the red right here. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? What's your name? Hey, hi, honey. Jahan. Okay. What's going on? How old is he? He's go, he's gonna be two next month. Okay, all right. That's what's up, man. All right, and then I'm told you had a, another one to the right, are you? Yeah, my daughter, she just ran off. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey, well, I'm, I'm, I really appreciate you joining the live stream and uh, hit me up so we can uh, discuss that further. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. All right so I uh, appreciate, uh, 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 thanks to Starlight uh, for joining us. Uh, oh, my, I got my man Crazy M coming in here. What's happening, my man? Oh wow! This this official. This official playboy. This, yes, sir. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. What what's happening, man? Can you hear me? What? <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. It's uh, it's the thing. Like like I hear you talking, and it's like doing the thing. But I can hear you though. I can hear you. All right. What I want to show you real quick, um, you would you would talk about your situation. Yes. And so um, uh, right here, um, you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, I can see the screen. All right. So from million from from prison to making million. So you can look that one up there. Uh, wholesaling real estate. Um, that's my man there. I think he's in a still in Atlanta or whatever. Um, when we talked, he said he lived in the same uh, neighborhood as Rick Ross. So, you know, he got it going on. Uh, he has a very interesting story. So it can be very inspirational, not only to you, but anyone just had a difficult time, which a lot of us have, you know, in life. So, hey, you, you, got, any, you got any particular uh, questions uh, you want to answer? Uh, me to answer for you? Uh, yes. Um, the, first, the, first, the first question I want to ask you is... Um, so, for the state of Michigan, because um, I, I just recently got a job by the grace of God, um, is it like like would I have to invest any money in this, or like like what would I have to do with that? Well, well, okay. So 
just to explain the process to you, okay, okay, so most people, when they think about real estate, you got to have cash or credit, right? And as I thought before I got involved, it was, it was introduced to me, you know, by okay. just ac by accident. But uh, what you'll soon learn out is all about just uh, understanding how to leverage techniques, right, okay. and paperwork. All right, okay. all, real, all real estate transactions start with a contract. Whether Correct. It's a a hundred thousand dollar property, ten thousand dollar property, or ten million dollar property start with a purchase and sales agreement, aka a contract. Now that contract does not give you ownership of the property, but what it can do is allow you to leverage that piece of paper because you uh, now have what they quote unquote call an interest in the property, where you position yourself if you find a great deal that someone that does have the resources, in most cases cash. They will buy you out of the deal. Just they'll pay you basically to move out of the way. Correct. Right. And that's done through an assignment fee. All right. Okay. So that's why your cash or credit doesn't matter whether you have it or you don't. It's because if you can find the great real estate deal tied up in the contract, you're basically selling that contract and giving the person an option to do that. Well, you say, why would you do that? Well, you do it because it, maybe you don't have the money to do it, so but you can still capitalize on it. But even if you do have the money on it, you may have spent, so in some cases, zero dollars. We'll just say you may have spent a hundred dollars to acquire this lead and this deal. But if you made fifteen thousand, I'll just do the ROI on that. It's a ridiculous amount return on investment. So that's right. why it's a lucrative opportunity, and you're not limited to just one deal at a time. You're not exactly. limited to just one deal or just your market or where you live. Like um, I don't know how early you got on, but um where is it uh where is it where is it? Where, is it? where is it where is it um like this video right here it explains uh how you basically have a hundred dollars a hundred dollar uh, subscription but it shows you how you can target properties basically nationwide by leveraging uh properties that are listed through real estate agents and understanding okay. how to recognize a deal but this video is like an hour and some change is with my okay. man uh, Benson from uh, Privy, that's the name of the company, but it explains how to leverage that. So uh, great, you got a, a gig, so you can start producing some income for you and whoever you need to uh, take care of or whatever. But man, uh, yeah. this won't your your past won't have anything to do with whether you can succeed or this or not. Let me put that: it won't prevent you from succeeding. Your yeah, you past, know what? Your, your past may actually be a benefit to you doing this. And you, know, and, you know, I just um, I just want to take this time because for everyone that's watching this live, I just want to acknowledge you because, you know, when I first came home, my mother, she she found she introduced you into me. I'm like, you know, who is this guy? So I'm seeing all these videos and I just want to give you a huge shout out. And I am subscribed to you. I have liked your uh, your lives and I will continue joining each one that you broadcast until I do find success in this, you know, lucrative business. And I, and I just want to thank you because it's so many people who find success and it's like, they keep it to themselves. You know, they don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to share. And the fact that you are sharing this information with those who may not have the best position in their life, whether you be homeless or whether you're a returning citizen or whether, you know, you know, you, you know, it, it could be any situation that you are in. And the fact that you are on live broadcasting with me, it, it just says so much about your character. And I, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. And I want to let you know that I will not give up until I find success in this. Hey, please keep us updated, man. So, you know, uh, we're, we're here. Um, I really appreciate those comments, man. Um, um, uh, the, um, we're here every day uh, on, during these time frames, uh, okay. Monday through Wednesday, 345 Eastern. That's supposed to be 8, 805 on Thursday, but it's something I'll get a change. Okay. Uh, so we're here to help, man, to anyone okay. that wants to help. Yeah, I sell stuff. Yeah, I promote stuff. But right. anyone that know, knows my content, you don't ever have to spend a dime with me and make a lot of money. You know, right. that, that's my tip. The, the stuff that's offered is, a, is just a byproduct of all the free content or whatever. So, so uh, excuse me, I'll interrupt. This is this is my final question for you. Um, yes, sir. 
Okay, I, I apologize. I didn't really introduce myself. Uh, I know my uh, account says uh, crazy, but my name is Mr. Moriante Evans. Okay. Um, I am from the uh, city of uh, Detroit. I live in the state of Michigan. Okay. Um, now, in this specific area, it is a lot of uh, foreclosed properties, a lot of abandoned houses. Um, say that I do locate an owner with a uh, abandoned property and they're willing to sell it. Um, do you do a thing where we can kind of like, I guess I could bring the house to you or something like that? Yeah, yeah. A um, um, couple of ways on, on how that works now, uh, which I'll explain it, but this video for anyone, you just text 5050 and that video is explained, but I'm going to explain it now. Um, it's basically what you'll do. That take, it'll explain how you can go to my website, dealyourlater.com, okay. and um, you can submit the deal there. Uh, but basically, um, for a long time, we went about it this way. And I'm a little bit more open with another option, without, which I'll explain this again. Um, is that okay? You've located the property, right? Uh, well, first of all, we would at least for because people can just send us stuff. We're really not set up to just send stuff, so we really want you to have, a, and it's going to only benefit you. Have educated yourself up to the point where number one, you can recognize a great deal. Uh, right. Number two, you know how to talk to sellers. So if you're not sure about that, I give that away. Uh, just text the word script. I have a couple of videos, but one more recent video that I explained to you what you should sh say in the information that should be collected Correct. on whether um, uh, so you can evaluate the property to see if there's an opportunity. The other video behind that would be um, that's the GD video. It, it helps you to uh, explain if you actually have a deal. Where's that card? At? If you, if you have a deal or not, right? And so, right. uh, which is very, very important. And one of the main reasons why most uh, wholesalers fail in this business is because they never figure out what a great deal is. So once you, so assuming you got all of that, so you got a property, you put it on the contract, uh, for whatever reason you're not comfortable about um, uh, 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 putting a buyer or the rest of the process, yeah, we would love to partner with you. Okay, so you submit that deal to the site, we evaluate it, we reach back out to you. Assuming we like the numbers that you have and what you have done the contract for or whatever you're offering it to us for. Correct. And at that point, we paper up and then that's when we uh, uh, place a buyer with the with the deal. So to answer your question, yeah, we, we would love to do that as much as possible with you and, and whoever else is out there. Um, but the, at, at the end of the day, the end game is to uh, hopefully get you where you don't need me and you can't exceed me or whatever. Exactly. So, um, and all it takes is one time. One yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, that's that's just the proof of concept. That's where it was for me anyway. Yeah. I, only made, I only made this is bit this card I'm looking for, but buyers just help you with buyers leveraging real estate agents. But uh, uh I only um what I'm about to say, um um I only made twenty five hundred dollars on my first deal, but I had failed at so many other things that that twenty five hundred was just like two point five million to me. That's it, exactly. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. Proved, oh, this works. So exactly. right. that, that, that 2500 could have easily been 25000 You Easier than that. that or whatever. Right. I've never accomplished that over the years through deals. But, um, but yeah, so, man, you, man I, I, I wish, I don't know who you know uh, that was, you know, that you may have been um, in the same situation when you were incarcerated with, man. Try to spread uh, your knowledge about it. Once you get going, you can introduce some of my stuff. I'm not the only game out here by no means or whatever. But uh, I like to think, you know, the content that I offer is, is genuine. I really, I'm really trying to help individuals like yourself and, and more. So uh, take advantage of it. Put it into action. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. You're not intending to make mistakes, but just understand it doesn't have to be perfect in order for you to make money. That's Correct. one of the great things about it. Flat out, flat out. So you're in Detroit? Detroit, Michigan, that's correct. What's the weather like in Detroit today? Uh, you know, uh, I see, you know, you know, unfortunately the pandemic hit so hard, but I see uh, a few businesses starting to open back up like the McDonald's, you know, okay. Burger Kings. Um, in Detroit, you know, you look at these houses, man, and I mean, I mean, these are really, big houses, you know, uh, duplexes, a lot of brick houses. And the thing is, a lot of them are foreclosed or they're abandoned. And, you know, I look at these houses and I say, man, 
I know I know Flip Man would know what to do with these things, you know. Well, well let me so, just say this about that now. Uh, whenever you're looking at um, a lot of vacant houses, uh, yeah. which is an, uh, 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 easier to identify that there may be some motivation there about this, what to sell it. Not always, for sure, you'll find that out. But whenever you're looking at vacant houses, ideally, and sometimes it's not always this, but ideally, you don't really want to be on a block where every other house is vacant. Right. You don't want to be on blocks where one or two, maybe three are vacant or whatever. Right. And everybody's keeping up their lawn, no matter the, 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 the uh, perception of the neighborhood, you know, but you don't want to be on just a lot of vacant houses because those are normally hard to move. And that's more of a, uh, a, a thing that that's definitely out of your control. But a lot of investors don't like to fool with those. Correct. Situations. You know, you'll have some people go in and they say, quote unquote, buy up the block. But those are unique situations or whatever. Right. Whenever you're identifying vacant houses, where it's in an A neighborhood, B or C or D, definitely and definitely the D and the C's, look for the ones that have a lot more consistency of houses that are not vacant. So it's only maybe one, two, maybe three vacant on there when you're doing that. Okay. If that makes sense. Because sometimes, you, you know how it is, sometimes you go from one block, one block, everybody keeping up their lawn, ain't nobody hanging out, and then the next block over, oh, totally different situation. So you want to be on the, the block where everybody seems to care about that particular street or a couple of blocks or whatever. So uh, those are normally going to be easier deals to move. Okay. Okay. All right, my man. Uh, but please join us again, man. You know, like I say, you see the schedule here. Uh, we have days a week. And um, I, it, it's the world is yours, man. Uh, seems like y'all are you, my man. I'm uh, 21. Oh, oh you you got the whole world at your feet, man. The whole world at your feet. <laughs> Hey, it, it, it's yours. Just make it happen. You got to put put the knowledge and put the work in. Absolutely. You have a good one. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, that, that that's good, man. To see a young man like that, um, he, he's ready to get down. You know, he's still very young. Uh, that that won't stop him. If he's willing to put the work in, the, the, <laughs> this is endless, endless, like a, a sea of opportunity, an ocean of opportunity. As my man, um, uh, I forget what his name is, but anyway, uh, Ocean Opportunity. Um, I'm thinking somebody's gonna ask a question. I got to ask a question. <laughs> uh, okay, she said, uh, Kranisha said I said her name right. Yay! Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, okay, so this was my man the other day uh, from uh, Yusuf. He said, I have the information you asked me uh, on those commercial deals, and they are selling the building, not the business. I'm ready uh, when you are. All right. So I forget the numbers on it. You just text me over the numbers on it or whatever. I forget what he said on it. All right. Uh, what we got here? All right. So, um, oh, well, this is him again. He said, uh, this is use of how do you go about finding commercial property? Well, it depends on what you're trying to find. Um, you can, it's, it's some, some commercial properties are easier to build list on if you're going to go that route than others, uh, depending on the tools you're using. So first you have to identify what type of commercial property you're going to target because you have hotels, motels, um, retail centers, single tenant, uh, multifamily, which is five apartments or five units or more, uh, warehousing, um, what am I missing? I'm missing a lot. No self storage. Um, I think it's a couple of more, but uh, so what, what are you going to target particularly? So you first need to identify that and then you can possibly move forward on, on, um, on what's, um, uh, uh, how do you find those particular type of deals? Okay. All right. So, um, Hmm. VP says not true. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. So, uh, uh, what's going to do? Your deal is good. Deal cargo for a pad to claim the house has been updated. All right. So, uh, good question. Um, and I posted the question, then read it. All right. So, Aquavius, I think I said that right, Mr. Daniels, or it might be me, up, Miss. Uh, what up, Flip Man? What do I put in the deal calculator for repair for repairs? 
if they claim the house has been updated. Uh, well, if you're going to use my calculator, you have to put something in there, even if it's just a dollar. So in that situation, just put a hundred dollars in there. I probably would do a thousand just just for GP, um, and uh, then play the numbers out. So, and what he's referring to, whenever you're calculating the numbers or you're trying to determine if you have an opportunity or not, this is one way of doing, not the only way. They have this formula. It's uh, seventy percent generally for most markets times the ARV, which is after repair value, basically what will the house appraise for an extra condition? You multiply that times 70%, then you subtract the repairs. So I have a deal calculator, uh, I mean a repair calculator and a deal calculator on my site, dealyourlater.com. It's the word calculator with the play on, uh, it's the word calculator, remove the C-A-L-C and replace it with D-E-A-L, like great deal dealyoulater.com all right and access that uh deal calculator just text the letters dc for deal calculator to the 205-964-5243 all right um uh pisces illustration says hi everyone i'm um, hello to you um uh abdul says uh you good flip uh been more than helpful thank you sir Thank you, sir. Um, uh, all right. Um, wow, this is um, a good comment from VB. <laughs> uh, she said, uh, I'm sorry for the people with thin skin. Your content is awesome and free. Uh, some courses cost thousands and the people are untouchable. Keep being you. I appreciate. I appreciate you. All right. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really appreciate uh, you guys. You, know, you could be doing anything else. Um, all right. Good question here. All right. So, um, the the initiated. Uh, hey, Flip. Can I uh, can I make deals? Solely using a cell phone. I'm going to get to your uh, purpose, uh, Pash. Uh, can I make deals solely using a cell phone? Of course. Um, when I started, and I can't believe I let that phone number go. I don't even know what happened. I think when the market crashed, I sort of pulled back. That's when I got into gold business a little bit. Still was doing a deal or two here. but And so I sort of let a lot of my marketing stuff go. Um, but I had a phone number. Uh, lo a local phone number, 205. I don't know who number it is now, so if I give it out, people start calling you, whatever. 205-444-3030. Uh, that was so easy to remember. And I had 444-3020. I registered both of them. That's when I uh, started working at uh, Bell South, and they let us uh, capture and train and capture some phone numbers, and I, and I picked those easy numbers or whatever. But the, my point is, is that that phone, that was going to my landline, which I don't even own a landline. I haven't for years. Uh, I, that was going to my landline. So, yeah, you can use your cell phone that's your, if that's your own option. Uh, but, you know, the topic today, the um, best phone number to use for your real estate and uh, business. Uh, so I'm going to get into that here in a second or whatever. But, um, uh, yeah, so most definitely uh, the initiated. All right. Um Purpose, what's happening, man? Hey, how you doing, sir? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. What's your What's your name, man? Marius McKinney. Mars. Where are you live streaming from? Uh, Satilla, Mississippi, which I am about four minutes from the mall here in Tupelo, Mississippi. Okay, okay. So, I would. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Wayne County, Miss uh, in Mississippi? Yes, That's sir. Down, yeah, I, I was born in Waynesboro, Mississippi. For real? All of my mom's, all of my mom's side of the uh, family are from that Wayne County area. What Wayne, uh, Waynesboro, Buckatuna, uh, State Line, all well, that State Line is another county, but mm -hmm. yeah, down in that area, yeah, I'm in Meridian often. Look, I just talked to, uh, I'm in, I'm in law enforcement, and uh, I'm an investigator, and they got a deal going on up this way, and I just talked to the sheriff on uh, something that happened in Chula. Okay. 
and uh, I just talked to some people down there. Uh, I just talked to uh, uh, something that happened. You ever heard of Tum Tum Suba? Yeah, Tuma Suma. Yeah, Tuma Suma. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's what's up, man. <laughs> All right. What, what you got? So I'm 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 trying to get into the the uh, investing side of real estate, and uh, I've I've been studying this stuff for about. I've been in analysis paralysis for about two years, sir. Oh, <laughs> I know, oh that cut me deep. Oh. I know, man. I oh. <laughs> but but I I started making moves. I, I thank God for you, brother. I started making moves and actually I've been hearing it for a year and a half or better. But I actually when I start, I just I don't know how I just come across you like uh, a couple months ago. And so I've already uh, watched pretty much 80% of your uh, or more of your videos. Oh, wow. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I've been binging on you. And I'm looking at some properties now. And uh, one of the properties, uh, I end up cold calling, uh, driving for dollars. And uh, actually, in, in this, this, this city and town that I'm in, it's kind of got a little thing to it. It's what Elvis is. Elvis was born, right? Oh yeah, I, I just went and watched the movies. Um, I so, didn't didn't really care for Elvis before, but after watching that movie, a lot of respect, right? Uh, I, would, I, I, I would I would encourage anybody to go see it. Well, my wife went to see it, and uh, I'm from here, and I've only been to the Birds Place like once or twice. So yeah. don't like you is isn't that you know don't, yeah. don't interest me, but. Uh, just north of me is like I said, it's a property. I went, it's not for sale, uh, with a with an agency, uh, a real real estate agency. Is the owner is trying to sell it, okay? Sell my owner, and uh, I end up uh driving for dollars. I saw it is probably a hundred yards, maybe less, from a golf course. Uh, it was one of the nice golf courses here. It's actually one of the residents on the golf course, and uh, I think it's. Uh, let me look. I have the. It's actually the guy hadn't given me a price yet. He got someone talking to him, but he said they've been going back and forth, and the guy is not really making a. He's not really biting on the property. Mm -hmm. so he said the guy's supposed to come look at the day, and if he don't look at it today, that he's gonna uh, open it up for me, and uh, and I'm trying to find a buyer. I don't have the cash. Uh, to just you know put down on it but uh i'm thinking it possibly would be a good deal it's oh, okay so so um so it um so it's a house is it does it is it is it um the, does it appear to have a, a significant amount of land with it or just a normal lot size or whatever he he just, i talked to him earlier he just told me that the property actually has more land with it and he's needing to get rid of it because he lives in Dennis, Mississippi, which is probably an hour or so northeast or northwest of here. Okay. But the property was built in 1979, single family. Uh, let's well, see. What's the lot square? What's the square footage on the lot? Uh, the square footage on the lot is... It says lot size 1.46 acres. Oh, okay. All right. And it's 1508 square feet, 1,508 square feet. Um, okay. It says land value 45000 So the land up this way is pretty expensive. Okay. What, what? How much does he want for it? He hadn't given that to me yet because he said he's talking to another guy that supposedly, I guess, <laughs> he, he, oh, he, he uh, uh, so he has a for sale sign in the yard? He doesn't. Okay. How did you know for sale? Well, driving for dollars. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy, I saw a guy standing down in the yard. I saw the house look like, you know, it was abandoned. Um, I talked to the guy next door. I know who he is. He told me, he gave me the guy's number. I called the guy and ended up knowing the guy. I worked part-time at the hospital and he's a, he's a paramedic. Well, he knew my voice. We got to talking, and he said, "Yeah, man, I, 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 I you know, I'm gonna sell it." He said, "Uh, he, they inherited, he and his wife inherited some property, a farm, so they're living there." So he, he said, "Man, I'm needing to get rid of it." He told me this today to pay some bills, 
but he wouldn't give me a price because he said that some he's already talking to a guy and he want to be fair. And he said, but that guy, uh, a week or two ago, he told me that guy, he had been talking to the guy today. He said that the guy's been going back and forth. And he was like, if you don't do anything today, he's supposed to come show in the property today. And he said, if you don't do anything today, he's going to come to me. Well, um, I don't know. I just feel the guy's not going. The neighbor told me 175. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I knew that that was way out. Now, yeah. now the it's showing that um it's showing market value right now 13860. Mm -hmm. Okay, now um well I guess the main thing is and don't 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 spend a lot of time on this. All right, so um what he what was the date that he said he was gonna let you know about it? Today. Okay. All right. So reach out to if if you don't hear from him today, reach out to him tomorrow. Say, hey man, I'm I'm actually interested in buying. I'm I am interested in buying your house. Um, if this doesn't work out with you, uh, with the other guy, please let me know and just move on or whatever. Now it sounds like he's in La La Land anyway. So that's one of the main reasons why you don't want to just spend a whole lot of time on it. When I say La La Land, he's asking more than probably what it's worth so it's going to be hard to get him to go back so far from the the other direction in most cases not always um or whatever so um but being in a a, a, a small market like this so th is this house in tupelo or is it one of the surrounding uh towns it's in tupelo but it's less than a mile and a half out the out the city limits of tupelo. okay but it's still city it, it, so it's not in the city limits but it's close it's close, and like I say, it's on a golf course. Plus, the mall, the 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 main mall in Tupelo, mm -hmm. is about five minutes from it. Okay, I got you. Okay, that's what's up. All right, so yeah, so uh, yeah, just don't don't put a lot of energy in it. Um, because again, just from the information that you provide, it seems like he's asking. Uh, he will be asking more than probably what it's worth. But um, yeah, uh, and you know, now it's a smaller market, so you'll. Uh, you definitely gonna probably have to pay attention to land in that just general area, the surrounding counties. Um, that's that needs to be uh, part of your attention also. Um, and um, um, which I'm trying to um, how far? So you got Tupelo, but Tupelo is oh man, it's it's it's, it's far from it's what's closer, Jackson or Memphis? Memphis is ninety miles. And Jackson, what? Three, three, three and a half. Is that far? Okay. Um, uh, and um, I'm trying to, uh, because in a smaller market like that, it's going to be limited. Um, that's where your online options become more more valuable, right? Um, have, have you seen me talk about the, um, I don't know if you watched this video when, when I uh, interviewed what's the name, but like this option right here is gonna probably be more valuable to you because in a smaller market like that, um, it, it's, it's difficult to get enough activity to uh, to generate, you know, uh, uh, you know, you make it, but it's just a numbers game. The more people, the more, the more, pre the more people, the more real estate, the more motivated sellers, the more investors, right? Less and it goes back the other way, so. Yes, sir. So it's it's growing here. It's it's growing really really rapidly. The thing mm. about here is during the day you're looking at probably a couple hundred thousand, mm. and that that come in to work. But I then you. you know there's only probably fifty something thousand, maybe a little more. Yeah, that actually live in the city limits of Tupelo and then yeah, the that's, county. That's why county. I said those surrounding counties are going to be probably. Uh, you don't have to be your uh, your playground also, your market also, or whatever. Uh, you're going to also have to take in consideration mobile homes because that's normally a big thing in, uh, in the rural areas. Yeah, you know, like uh, uh, in, a, in a market like that. So you got to take that in consideration. The only thing with mobile homes is if the land comes with it, great. But if it doesn't, then you get in the mood, which you know, get in the mood of mobile homes. Sometimes the move can be more than worth Right, the cost of the move could be worth more than the mobile home itself, or whatever. So, so that's the thing that I, I was gonna say too. I, I'll be texting, you know, the specific numbers. I watch enough to know which, what to take what. Yes, but sir. I got a friend that has uh, 
uh mobile home business company okay he sells the new ones but he okay. comes across the used one a lot oh really okay we, we're, we're actually neighbors and he's one of the biggest here in this area okay and then, and then i have a guy that was talking to me he has i think he told me 24 and uh he's thinking about selling i guess that business so he has 24 used ones or he has a oh, he has a mobile home park he's trying to sell the whole thing it's it's like a park it may be like two parks well i'm saying is he rent is 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 this a dealership or he mean he's renting out 24 units so i have one friend that owns the dealership then i have one friend that actually owns several parks and he's really he's willing to sell them he said that his son and they had they have tenants his, mm -hmm. his son he said ain't gonna do right with them so okay. i've been knowing him over the years and he, he told me um you know he was he he getting older i think he's 69 finna be 70 and he want to retire so i talked to him and he said just come down and see him and he he would like to talk to me and see you know if it was something that i'd be interested in well yeah yeah hit me up and um uh just just text me and, and um and then you know just remind me you uh you're in uh mississippi what was your first name again marius my marius and um you know we we can hook up because the one that has the mobile home park that now that may be an opportunity yes sir. Right? because I, i've been thinking that so i went to see him at lunch today and he's out of town he's my neighbor so i kind of knew that and i didn't want to go up there and talk to these other people because we've been friends for years so yeah. i'm just call him and, and link up with him both of them i know him so i'm gonna call them and see what they say and i'll, I'll text and see uh, yeah yeah we we need to follow up on that that may be yeah. an opportunity there you, you definitely so hit me up yes, and so oh, i can you know we can get in contact on the phone for real Thank you. Nice to talk to you, sir. All right. I'll say it, man. Love it. All right. Yes, Have sir. All righty. All right. Um, we got uh Joshua here. We're gonna bring him on. Um, what happened to me? Let me see. Okay, what what what's what's somehow I got uh three people up here, Josh. Supposed to just be one of you, but that's cool. All right, what what, what we got, my man? I can't, I can't hear you. Yo, what's up, Ty? How you doing? Oh, I'm good. What's happening, man? Not much, not much. So I took a, uh, I went to that appointment on Saturday, the house in uh, Midfield. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. House, house, not in the bad shape, man. It's in pretty decent shape. Like I said, he's still asking for forty five. He don't want to come down. That's because he still has a thirty eight thousand dollar mortgage on it. So mm -hmm. it's really only a turnkey situation. But like you said, the, the rent's too low for that area. But um, I got another question for you though. Yes, sir. Um, I did some um, SMS blast and I got a guy back and uh, so his uh, his his mom passed and she left the house, but he doesn't have any papers proving that he owns a house. How do I go about that? Oh, well, OK. No, that, that, that's that's no big deal. Well, what what will happen is, is that. All right. Let, let me ask you this. So this is these are the questions you need to find out from him. OK. Did his mom have a will probated before she passed? Right. No, she didn't. Okay. I asked him all that. Well, well, was he the only, is he the only child? Yes. Okay. Now, if he's the only child, this, this is in Birmingham, right? Yeah, it's in Birmingham. Okay. So if he's, the, if he's the only child, then it won't be a big deal in the sense that they can do an air affidavit. And uh, the air affidavit, the title company, the closing attorney, uh, will prepare and basically just get two people that knew his mom and can identify he is that, the soul I got you. or I whatever. Got you. So, so now it just boils down to, is it a deal or not? Or whatever. Got you. Oh, I, yeah. uh, well, I know you're familiar with Aaron. So let me tell you, it's over there. Um, uh, uh, what is Wahoma? Um, by, by East Lake park. Yeah. 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 Okay. I know it's kind of a okay -ish area, Not really. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, that's, on, that's on the North side of East Lake. And that's in that, what probably, uh uh from 60 i don't know 67th to probably what um well no it's probably no that's farther down i'm sorry you say east lake park so that's farther yeah. down by Oklahoma uh, home neighborhood yeah well what's the block number oh man um is it seven or six seven or six i think it's in the 70s for sure okay all right cool yeah i know what you're talking about though but yeah, yeah. so uh, so he, ah, over there um well he hadn't given you a price oh he gave me a price he 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 said he wants seven thousand for it 
Oh, yeah, you got to take a look at that. Bye. Yeah, no, 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 that, 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 yeah, yeah, you and you, you may be in the game on that. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm talking. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so I'm, have you know. viewed it? Have you viewed it? Yes, sir. I went and viewed it. Uh, I didn't go inside, but you know, I went around. Okay, so when is he going to give you access to it? Um, he he's stuck. He really, he really, he really don't know. He really don't know if he can sell it or not because he don't know if he, you know, he don't know the paperwork right. Well, but, no, um, no. It, yeah, this, this is what you explain to him. All right, is it vacant? It is vacant. Hell yeah, it's vacant. All right, but this is what you explain to him. It says, okay, so the process you're going to explain. Say, all right, now you're the only child. Your mama, uh, according to what you say, he's the only child. All right, so the process is is that whenever the first thing we're going to do, we we get a purchase and sales agreement in place to start the buying process. You explain all real estate transactions started. That that doesn't give me ownership or anything. It's going to be a very simple one page contract. What that will allow you to do is you just let them know what that allows me to do is now I can push this to the title company to identify that number one, obviously your mom was the previous owner and you are the heir to that. So once that happens, that we'll get the proper paperwork in place so you can sell it to me. All right, so once that's done, we sit down, you sign the paperwork and that's when he'll get the money for the property and you'll get ownership of the property. So you just simplify for him that it's not that complex. This is a cash transaction. There are no banks involved. The only thing we got to do is first get the get the paperwork going so we can start the buying process. Now, if he doesn't know, now he doesn't know, like, well, he knows his mama used to own the house, but he doesn't know, like, like I said earlier. But let me ask you this. I asked him, is there any liens or any debt on the property? He said, no. How would he know that if he don't even have, you know? Well, well, he, well, he, he may just be going by what his mom may have said before or somebody in the I family guess, or something. That's what I was thinking too. But that's going to all come out in the title work. That's going to all of come course. out. Yeah, they're they going to yeah. figure all that out. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So yeah, yeah. Look, I'm gonna hit him up today because he's been waiting on me. He said other people have been asking him about the house, but nobody been as consistent as I was. So, and then I also, uh, I also said if I figure this thing out for you, since you couldn't figure it out, we had to talk about that price. He said I'm willing to do that. So I'm trying to talk him down to five. Oh yeah, I right, pick that extra two up, baby. Make it yes, happen. Sir. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, uh, I'll text you. I'll text you and uh, let you know what's going on with it. I appreciate the information though. That's gonna help me out, there. All right. No problem at all, man. Please join us again, Joshua. Let us know. I got you. Yes, sir. All right, now. Yeah. Boom, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the topic. We appreciate the, the appreciate the people that are joining us live. So today's topic is uh, best phone number for your real estate business. All right. Now, someone asked, someone posed a question a, a moment ago, and. Um, uh could they use their smartphone and of course you can right that's your only option but when i started some of these third party services or at least i wasn't aware of them didn't exist and when i say third party phone services they, they're just a basically platform that you know provide phone numbers now there are some free options out there like google voice right uh but it's limited um we the service that we use in house here in house here is called bumber Instead of the word number with an N as in Nancy, it's Vumber, V as in Victor, V-U-M-B-E-R.com. Not the only game in town. I'm not affiliated with them, so but that's just what we've been using um, over the last few years. And what I love about it, number one, you can forward that number to whatever number you want to do. That's to an existing phone. It has a great app that you can use with an Android or uh, uh, an iPhone so it makes it very easy to have not only one number, but multiple numbers, which is very important. One of the other features that I love is that you can record the conversations, right? That allows you to go back and listen to what was said, whether it's you, a partner, or a virtual assistant. Because a lot of times you go back and listen to the call and say, oh, and just the tone of the call may assist, or ain't no may, it will assist you in negotiations. Now, uh, the reason that a service like that is really good also, I think for $9.95 with uh, Vumber, you can get two numbers. And the more numbers you add, it's like $3. I think it's $4 a number that you add on. And then they have different packages where you may get five for, for $19.95 or something like that, but whatever. 
So the reason you have to have multiple numbers, or I recommend having multiple numbers, is for marketing and tracking. Um, you'll have a different phone number for your bandit sign versus cold calling. You'll have a different phone numbers for your direct mail, and you may have different phone numbers for direct mail based on the areas that you're targeting, right? And the reason you do that because by having different phone numbers, I sort of went through this uh, the other day for someone, but that's way me why I came up with this title because sometimes it's hard to come up with titles. Um, is tracking to help you know what's working, what's not working, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is what's working, you obviously want to do more of, and you track that through the different phone numbers that you have, and what's not working, you want to try to fix it to increase the results of the, the deal flow or the lead flow. So uh, just using services like that, you can compare pricing. Just use, hey, uh, phone numbers for my business. Just go to Google and do a search for that. And it's going to be tons of options. They just go with whatever you're comfortable with. So, woo, I got this in all by myself. I don't know how good it was, how bad it was, but I appreciate everyone that has joined us today. If you didn't get your question answered, post it in the comment section of any video, and I answer those on a daily basis. Make sure you can start this business with only 100 bucks and start virtually wholesaling. Text MLS to the number. Want to set up that LLC business credit and also um, the tax uh, access to over 250 tax deductions that put money in your pocket basically immediately by just changing your habits. Text the word biz to this number. All right. Don't forget for text messaging, text the word text. And if you want to, um, uh, a dollar for your cold calling. Text the word dollar. Um, I think um, we're uh, good. Oh, I uh, forgot contracted that. I, I didn't even show y'all the uh, people, uh, the paperwork, your superpower. Oh, let me get the times in. Um, remember, uh, around 345 Eastern, check your local listings. And on Thursdays at 8 p.m., 8.05 Eastern instead of five, I mean, 705. That was a typo. And uh, the word contract, this is the paperwork. Uh, this is your superpower. It's what puts it all together. Text the word contract to this number. Uh, this video will explain how to fill it out for sellers and buyers and how to get it signed virtually. Uh, guys, again, I appreciate everyone that has joined us today. Um, hopefully the crew will be back in here later on this week. And uh, this could go a lot smoother and I won't be exhausted afterwards. So again, we'll see you guys on the F-L-I-P-S-I-D-E. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Yeah.